all right greetings uh i hope you're doing good now in this video i want to talk about um how we can create a program in java uh, that uh you know makes it it creates our own slides okay now what we want to achieve now in this uh in making my presentations or my audio recording of a swahili bible uh this is what I have to do. I have to come here and create the, you know, the slides. The slides for those verses that you can see here. Then once I'm done, then I can continue, I, I can do the record, uh, the record, the audio, then I match the two. So what we want to achieve in this, uh, in this program, we want to write, we want to create uh, a program that we just uh, ask the user for the, you know, for the, for the chapter the chapter the bible chapter verse uh, and the verses then our program will take the verses and uh, split them and uh, you know i uh, this create create what create the create the the slides so this is what we want to to achieve All right, this is what we want to achieve. So here, uh, let me go to my, yeah, now I can pick, can pick one, uh -huh. let me pick Titus chapter two. So in, uh, here, like a title to chapter two, then the verses, the verses, we just copy these, we copy it, then we paste in this uh, here. What the program will do, it will scan, it will scan these verses and it will split them, and in each verse, it creates its own slide all the way to the last verse. So when we click the generate slides, it will ask us for the location where we want to store the slides. Uh, so we want to store the slides um, uh, here. And once I select the folder, then it will do uh, the programming. We can see now what's happening here. It's, it's uh, you know, uh, it's done. Now, it's, it has done that. And now we can see these are the slides. These are the slides. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so that's what we want to achieve. So let's uh, see what we can do step by step. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, start uh, writing our code. All right. Okay. And uh, let's name our package. This is Java package Swahili dot Bible dot slides dot maker. Right. Then uh huh. Swahili Bible. Bible slide maker is an application to generate right that is what we call a java a java doc comment now if you run the java doc command to, to generate a HTML page for the comments nicely you know, the classes or the Java dot comments if you want to 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 have a documentation this is how we do for the comments so that you can generate them using the Java doc command so our class for Java we need to have a public class so Hilly Bible Slides maker. 
then this is uh, a Java FX application, so we'll extend the application. Then we need to import Java JS. Yes. Then we need to we need to implement all. Right, yeah, we need to implement this method. So let's set let's set up the UI component. Yeah? Uh, we need to have uh, primary stage dot set title let's have a label chapter label enter chapter Need to import that, yeah, Java effect. Yes, that one. Then we need a text area. Chapter input equals to new text. Yes, text area. Not, 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 not Java or WT. So. This we need this one. Then we need the uh, chapter input dot set brief row count. Yes, we want just the, 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 the row count for the label for the input for the chapter to be we set it to one one. Then I'll pause the video and uh, then code code the, the 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 rest of the code. Then I come back and explain the code. All right. So this is it. Uh, now we created a label to enter the verses number and context separated by new lines. So this will be taken by text area. Our text area we have set it to 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 low count ten. Then uh, we have a button. This button is which the user will just click it and generate the slides. Then the action that will be called, then we have this function, uh, uh, create PDF. You know, we have this, uh, you know, picking the destination folder. The user will be prompted, no, not the user action. Yeah, the user will be prompted to, or to, to, to select the directory where they want to save their files. Then uh, from that, then we have this function, we call this function with these parameters, the, the, the chapter, the link text code, and the destination folder. There is this generic latex slides, the function, and that has this. So this is the header, this will go to the preamble. And uh, now this one, we have a background, a back, a back, uh -huh. a background, if you check at the slides, the one we used uh, at the demo, the slides, the, the background, this image is the one we're using for the background. So the, the code is not really complicated, it's simple. We just have to have this uh, preamble, in a preamble, this will go for the preamble, then the begin document. And then we have to, for the, for the, for the verses, for the verses we are splitting using the line, uh, with the line. We are splitting for the line, uh, the, uh, the line, we, we see when we pasted, uh, the verses are separated by a new line. So we split, then uh, uh, each verse, it has the verse number and the verse context. So we are splitting using the space, then we pick the first one as the as the verse uh, number, then it has to be large. Uh, we format it to be large, then we append the next uh, verse. Then once we're done, that goes to each, to its, its own frame. Each verse goes to its own frame. Uh, then we are looping uh, the number of verses that they are there. Then once we are done, we add the document. Then we return the letter code to string. Then now here, the, oh, it's where we are calling the function, generate cre uh, create a PDF from LaTeX that we take the three parameters: the chapter, uh, the letter code, and the destination folder. Then 
uh, this what we will do now this will be will create pdf now we have the latex we have the try we have the tech code we have the latex code and the destination folder uh, so we just have to write now yeah to 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 invoke the process from the uh, the system uh to compile you know to compile so here uh -huh. yeah so here we are writing we are writing we are taking the the code we are taking the code we are creating a file uh called now the file uh, now uh, file dot uh Mm -hmm. the this is the destination folder now the file name so if uh, the cha if the chapter was a uh, title title so it will be tito slides.tx then now we open that file tito.txt then we write this later code to it then we close it once now we are done closing now we have the latex uh, file we have the latex file so what we want to do now is to run uh, to run the pdf latex to generate the pdf so this one will invoke a process a process builder we are getting the absolute path because now we told the user to pick the destination folder so uh, it depends on where the user uh, picked the folder where they want to work uh, on so then we are uh, this one this one is very important to redirect error stream uh, true so that uh, it can continue running uh, when there is a warning or there is an error okay then we start uh, our process then we want to consume any output from the process to avoid blocking if you don't have this it might not it will run but it will, it might not never get uh uh ita isha ita fika muisho ita fika muisho so we are consuming the output so that we can proceed then process dot wait for wait until it's uh, done uh this one it's all to open so the default uh default pdf a, a viewer or browser you're using it will open automatically with this and that's why uh, now we can catch any exception interruption exception io exception if you interrupt the code while it's generating we tag we'll, we'll get that one and print it to uh, stack trace uh then there's a function for open pdf uh, this is this this is what we'll do it will open uh this one uh it will open the pdf i think we called it here you know our main function yeah this one and that's it that's it so we can run it and see what it will happen uh there is an error let's see the following error occurred while executing this line what line Oh, let's see. Let's close this one. Let's try again. Try again. There was a program that was running with the same name. I think that's the problem. It was net the one the demo the demo. Uh, let's see if it will run now this time. Yeah, you can check here. Okay, so enter the chapter. So let's uh, let's enter chapter Tito Tito three. Tito tattoo. Then for the verses, let me lift them from that website. Uh, yes. Yeah, so then note here, note here what's happening. Eh? Oh. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You have to pick the, the folder. Yes, now. Once you pick the folder, now you can see this is happening. Creating all those things, uh, you know. Now we are consuming everything. And once it's done, wow. We get our output. This is it, the folder. So my default uh, PDF browser is Sumatra. Uh, is it Sumatra? Yeah, that's why it's opening. And then you can see. Uh, so that's it that's that's it uh, i know it's it's much to consume if you are new to java but you can see you can make it easier we can uh, you know you can make programming uh, programming can make your work easier so for me now i'll just have to do that if i want to generate slides for any chapter atakama it's uh, 
you know, a hundred and uh, like the Psalms, Psalms one eighteen, they had more than one sixty five verses. So it will be very easy for me to do that. So thank you people. See you in the next video and God bless you so so much. Thank you.